the monsters seem to be increasing the farther we go. Yeah, this is the foot of a large mountain area that even the people for the village stay away from. Even demons have their own ecosystem and it's dangerous too. Got it. Both the magic and spirit flowing through this area have a particular feeling. This would make even the wild demons living out here go into a frenzy. No wonder the village has that magic barrier protect it. But just now, Rent said that this is a place the people from the village stay away from. So have there been remnants of streets and the rails in the direction we have been going? Still, the trees and grass look like they haven't been cut in decades. Hmm. This is a glowing branch. Even if it's weak, it's rare for magic and spirit to naturally occur like this. And it seems to be of a different nature than the one Rent accidentally created. Hmm. It's just a branch. I'm sure it will be fine. We're almost there. Okay, I'm coming. <sighs> we arrived. This is it. So, this is the root of your spirit? A shrine, or rather, a massive rock. It looks like the stone itself has turned into a sacred object. There are some kinds of marks on it, but I can't tell if they were made by someone or if they are naturally occurred. At least, they don't seem to be from any of the religions practiced in the capital or anywhere else. Hilde did tell us that the rent spirit was similar to that of the forest spirit that live here. Hmm. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm cleaning it, of course. I came all the way here. The least I could do is clean it. I'm not sure or why I received their blessing, but they saved me many times. I will be punished if they take this power for granted. Guess you're right. I'll help. Thanks. By the way, how did it feel when you received the blessing? I can't really put it into words. At the time, I was just exploring the woods without much thought. Regardless of how things turned out, I wondered if I could meet that one fairy again. That's when I found this shrine. It was even there back then, and I felt sorry for it. So, I decided to clean it. After that, a fairy appeared and granted me the blessing. I see. Was it a different fairy from the one you met back then? It was. The fairy I saw together with Jinlin had a physical body. The one was more like, how should I say, an instinctive existence. Harut! Did you just say something? No. I said you are Harut! Huh? I'm offered you can't even tell the difference between me and those half-witted fairies that wandered between our worlds. This is exactly the reason 
Why I keep saying that we should be in regular and close contact with the other world. Where is it coming from? Uh, who is? Well, in consideration of your act of faith, I will let you off the hook this time. Hey, Loretta. Look, your body is glowing. Correct. Huh? 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 What? What is? At all? The one I made? Did it come out of my bag? Huh? I finally found a fitting vessel. This way, I can at least converse with you. You are... Me! You wish to know my name? It's not just me. Maybe us would be more fitting. So if you had to call me something, call me Willoket, the divine spirit of the forest. See that fragment over there? Fragment? Yes, so compared to being such a spirit of fairies, the power of ambiguity of us divine spirits is on a whole other scale. And because of the difference we communicate with the helps of connected shared consciousness, which we call fragments, you can think of it as one of our branches. I understand. So you are one of the fragments of the divine spirit called Willocrit. But why? I show myself? Well, for one, I simply wanted to talk to my followers. And I remember that I also had some kind of vision for the two of you. But when you are a fragment in the middle of nowhere, you just lose track of time and forget things, you know? Coming into contact with your world like this kinda made me forget what's past and what's future. But there has to be some meaning to me suddenly appearing like this. Like what? That part is still fuzzy for me too. That's why I will use this moment to create a mark. A mark that changes our destiny. Something that only a fragment like myself can do. And that is granting power. Loretta, I will grant you my divine blessing. To be continued. Thank you for listening to chapter 49. I hope you liked it. And see you in the next chapter. Bye bye.